Hello friends, welcome to the first video of the series which is on introduction to single cell technology. So in this video we will talk about the difference between bulk RNA sequencing versus single cell RNA sequencing. Then we will explore what can we study using the single cell technology. Basically we will explore the applications of this new field. So coming to the first, the difference between bulk versus single cell RNA sequencing. Okay. So um, take this, this example, uh, this is a tissue and a tissue consists of multiple cells, right? So earlier in the bulk RNA sequencing, what we used to do, we used to take or extract the RNA from the entire tissue. So we were dissolving or dissociating this tissue and uh, you know then collecting all the RNA and in a sample. So basically this sample contains RNA from all the cells. So there is no way we can differentiate which RNA comes from which cell. So that's why when we do the you know gene expression count or expression abundance uh, uh, you know analysis, ultimately we used to get a single gene expression profile belonging to that sample, which is which is that particular tissue. So basically, this single gene expression profile tell which all genes are expressed in this tissue and which is up-regulated and down-regulated if we compare this tissue versus with something else. But at least we'll get an idea which gene is expressed and which gene is less expressed in this tissue. But there is no way we can differentiate which cell, you know, there is no knowledge about the cell. Okay, so the gene expression is the average of the entire cell. But now with the advantage of, uh, you know, single cell analysis, so basically we can split the tissue into different cells. So in this hypothetical example, let's say we have four separate cells. So now we can study them separately and we can have the gene expression profile of individual cell. So now we can see that each cell is different with respect to the gene expression profile. So each cell is distinct. So that way we can say that these four uh, in this tissue, we have four different cell types are present. But earlier, but in case of bulk, they will be average out to get a single gene expression profile. Okay. So the advantage is, is, let's say, for example, a gene is not expressing in this particular cell, but that gene is expressing high in this cell. So when we take the average out, so this, you know, less expressed one will uh, nullify or, you know, cancel the high expression in the cell. Then you get a very, you know, low count. But since we are separating out, so now we know that with respect to that gene, this cell and this cell is different. And through this, when we do a clustering analysis, so what will happen? All the cells having same expression profile will come together. So now in this example, we can see that there are four subtypes are there in this tissue and with having distinct expression pattern. So in case of bulk, what we were thinking that, oh, all the genes, uh, okay, this gene is expressed, this gene is not expressed. But now with this, we can see which gene is, is expressed in which cell subtype. So that's the advantage of single cell technology where we can separate cells and study them separately and then compare them. So that's where it reveals the heterogeneity and subpopulation within the tissue. Okay. So now we'll talk about what can we study using the single cell technology. So first application I just explained is like we can study heterogeneous tissue. For example, take a tumor heterogeneity. We all know that tumor is not you know, homogeneous. It's heterogeneous. That means different cells come together and lie and function together, right? So that means this is heterogeneous. And we can have, uh, we can see uh, cancer cells, fibroblasts, you know, let's say macrophages, lymphocytes, four type of cells are there in this tumor. But if you study this, take this tumor and do a bulk RNA sequencing, so whatever expression profile will come, that is, the average of all these four cell types but really but in uh, you know in real the some genes uh, means it uh, these cells are different right the genes expressed in cancer cell will be ex different from fibroblast and same it will be different from a lymphocyte and macrophage but so now with the advantage of uh, you know uh, single cell we can separate them and study which genes are expressed in fibroblast alone, which genes are expressed in this cell, this cell, this cell. So that way we can study the heterogeneous tissue easily with this uh, no, single cell. So now the tumor heterogeneity is a very, uh, you know, 
in this field, particularly in cancer biology, the single cell technology is widely used for this application. Now, while doing the subpopulation analysis, you can easily identify rare cell type. This is very important. You know, we can uh, study some particularly novel cell types or rare cell, cell types can be studied through this application. Another application is like, you know, we can study the trajectory or the differentiation or the lineage. So, you know that when a cell differentiates, like for example, take a stem cell, uh, when it differentiates, you know, it will it will pass through different stages, like, you know, stage 0, stage 1, let's say, which you know, stage 2, then it differentiates into, you know, this particular, you know, tissue type or, you know, this type of tissue. So, you can uh, study or you can try, you can reduce, you can, you know, derive that in a trajectory uh, through the single cell study. So, this is a very active field where we can study the, you know, cell trajectory analysis can be done. And another hot topic is special transcriptomics. Basically, you are doing single cell transcriptomics. So, you know which cell is, you know, uh, subtypes, you know. Okay, this is subtype 1, this is subtype 2, this is subtype 3, subtype 4. And, but when you map it to the glass image. So, for example, you have the slide, you have the tissue image. Basically, you, you know, map the transcriptomics data on the image itself. So then that's where it comes the spatial transcriptomics. So there is a space involved, right? In which spatial region, uh, which cell type belonging to. Okay, so that way you can study the spatial transcriptomics map using this application. This is another uh, hot topic. So yeah, so this summarizes the total applications of single cell, like we can characterize and identify heterogeneous cell population and discover new cell markers particularly and uh, you know regulatory pathways. And also we can, uh, you know, uncover novel cell types or rare cell types. And then we can reconstruct the developmental hierarchy and reveal the lineage relationship. And then we can compare uh, the healthy and diseased tissue and organ uh, through in single cell level as well. So these are the different applications of single cell. And yes, uh, and the research, a uh, lot many researchers uh, research are going on in using this technology. Yeah. That's all about you know this video uh, where we talked about the difference between bulk and single cell and then we talked about the different applications of single cell. So in the next video we will talk about how actually the single cell technology works. So basically how we dissociate the tissue and capture the cell and how we you know sequence them, how we differentiate each cell from other cell and lot many interesting things are there we will be covering in the next video. Hope. Uh, you like this video so if you get some information so please press the like button and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please subscribe it okay thanks a lot bye bye see you in the next video